So there's one of two ways, actually there's a lot of ways, but one of two ways I use to use PancakeSwap and that's the Binance Smart Chain Network. So Binance have finally made their own little browser wallet you can download and send funds to, so that's all pretty cool. But if you use MetaMask, you would just normally use your Ethereum mainnet wallet and you can use that for Uniswap, for one inch and for many exchanges. But if you want to use PancakeSwap, you need the Binance Smart Chain Network. So I'm going to show you really simply in a step-by-step -step guide how to connect MetaMask to the Binance Smart Chain Network so you can use it for PancakeSwap and for all the other Binance Smart Chain exchanges. So what you want to do is once you open your MetaMask, I'm going to just go ahead and assume that everybody has a MetaMask account and everything is already set up but you don't have any funds or anything so I'm going to assume that's the case. So what you want to do is click right here where it says Ethereum Mainnet and you want to scroll all the way down to Custom RPC. So once you have done that, I want you to go ahead, pause the video and copy and paste the values that I have entered into your own MetaMask. Or if you don't want to just write it down, you, you can just go into the description down below and I have everything already written out so you can just copy and paste it. So the network name is so the network name is Binance Smart Chain. You can really name it anything you want, but it's just easier to name it Binance Smart Chain. Then for the URL, you're going to want to copy and paste this link. Then for the chain ID, it's 56. Uh, the symbol, obviously optional, but you want to use BNB because BNB is the native uh, currency of the Binance Smart Chain, obviously. And the Block Explorer, which for Ethereum is Etherscan, but for Binance Smart Chain, it's BSC, Binance Smart Chain Scan.com. So you're just going to want to copy and paste all the values, click Save, and then once you click up here, you're, you're going to have the Binance Smart Chain right here. So you can do the same for Matic if you want to use Matic and so on and so forth. But right now we're on the Binance Smart Chain. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm connected to the Binance Smart Chain right now. If you want to send funds here, you basically just copy this. You go to your Binance account or anywhere where you have BNB. And you're going to want to send BNB from that account to this address right here. So you just copy this address and this is where you're going to want to send your BNB. So... I have some BNB here, so let's go over on PancakeSwap and see if it all works. But as you can see, here's everything you can use from MetaMask to Trust Wallet, Math Wallet, Binance Chain. I, I can obviously also use Binance Chain since I have that. So you can also just download Binance Smart Chain and it just works just fine. But MetaMask is just easier for me because you have all the networks here. I have, as I said, Matic. I have EWC, which I have no idea what it is, but it's also another network that I've used in the past and I totally forgot about it. Obviously, Ethereum and all the other ones I don't really use. So this is really the most convenient way for me with the MetaMask. Obviously, the MetaMask phone application is much better than all the other ones I have used. So that's from my personal experience. I'm not paid by MetaMask. I have I don't have any contact with them. I would love to get paid by them if that's something that can happen, but it's <laughs> it's not not the case at all. So MetaMask is just something I personally use quite a lot. But as you can see, once you connect it, uh, this is what it looks like, and you basically pick anything you want. So for example, Safe Moon, and for one BNB, I would get oh, shoot, that's that's quite a big number of Safe Moon. A lot of Safe Moon for one BNB, and one BNB is around four hundred dollars right now. I think maybe even five hundred. I, I don't know. The market's going crazy lately. Let's just check though. So right now, four hundred eighty-four dollars for BNB. So four hundred eighty-four dollars, and you get is this one million or thirteen million, or is this one hundred and thirty-seven million? Yeah, it's one hundred and thirty-seven million. 170,000 safe moon. <laughs> wow, for $448. I mean, $483. Also, another thing I would recommend if you use PancakeSwap, you really need to click this, this button right here. Just make it dark mode, man. Dark mode is much better in everything. <laughs> Obviously, works the same with the farms, the pools, the yield farming. Everything works exactly the same. Connect with MetaMask and just use that BNB from there to enter pools, to enter farms. To enter, to enter liquidity pools and then use that liquidity to enter the farm. So pretty much it's not that hard. It's pretty simple. So hopefully this helped someone. If it did, make sure to smack the like button in the face. Don't forget to subscribe for more content tomorrow. Third episode from $10 to $1,000. I'm pumped. I'm excited. Every Sunday from tomorrow, every single Sunday, $10 to $1,000 challenge will be on the channel until I reach one thousand dollars with futures trading. Keep in mind that I'm a big, keeping in mind that I'm a beginner in futures trading, so it should be very, very interesting. With all that being said, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye and stay awesome.